Hi guys, it's Summer. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another debt update. In today's video, we are going to be looking at how much debt I started with in March. We're gonna look at how much debt we were able to pay off and then make a debt payment plan for April. So let's go ahead and get started. I have to say that I am super excited to share this news with you guys. I feel like I am making a lot of progress and I'm very happy with my progress. I did start this debt-free financial journey in January, so we've been doing it about three months now. So let me go ahead and zoom in. So this was our March debt payment plan. So as you can see, at the beginning of March, we had a total debt of $54,737. So our minimum debt payment each month is $1,168.81. This month, I was able to make a few extra debt payments. For those of you guys that are new, I do follow the avalanche method. That is where you pay off the debt with the highest interest rate first. So I am focusing on my personal loan that does have the highest interest rate for me. So we are working hard to pay that off. So I did make quite a few extra debt payments to my personal loan. On March 1st, I did make an extra $300 payment. On March 1st, I did make another $1,282 payment. That payment I was able to make due to my tax refund. I did use some of my tax refund to pay down my personal loan. And then on March 13th, I was able to make a $1,400 payment to my personal loan. And that was thanks um, to the stimulus check, the third stimulus check that we received. So this month, our total debt payments this month, with our, which include our minimum debt payment of $1,168.81 plus our extra debt payments, we were able to pay down a total of $4,150 dollars and 81 cents so now let's look at our overall debt progress the total debt i started with was fifty seven thousand eight hundred seventy dollars and thirty six cents um, this month's total debt balance so at the beginning of march we started out with fifty four thousand seven hundred and thirty seven dollars my overall debt progress so far this year i have been able to pay down three thousand one hundred $33.36. So that's an overall debt progress of 5.4%. That is very exciting. It's really nice to see the number go up each month. So the previous month we were at 3.6% and then we jumped to 5.4%. Now let's go ahead and look at our April debt payment plan so we can see what this for thousand one hundred and fifty dollars and eighty one cents does to um, our debt I didn't go into the March debt payment plan too much because I did go over that in my last debt update so if you want to check out more details for March go ahead and check out that video I will link it above so for our April debt payment plan, the first thing you do is you go ahead and list out your total debts. So I did list out my debts. I have my student loan, which is $24,747. I have my car loan, which is $14,284.64. I have my personal loan, which is $8,561.13. I have my Apple credit card, which is $683.56. My Peloton spin bike is $1,736.66. And my Best Buy credit card is $693.98. Then the next thing that you do is you go ahead and you list the interest rates. My Apple, Peloton, and Best Buy all have 0% interest rates. My highest interest rate is my personal loan, which is the 10.25, and that is the one that we are tackling right now using the Avalanche method, so working towards paying off the debt with the highest interest rate. And then my car loan is 2.49, and then I am not um, paying interest on my student loans at this time. So the next thing you do is you um, write down all of your minimums and then you order um, your bills. So I just ordered it by the one with the highest interest rate all the way down to the one with the lowest interest rate. 
So this month we are starting out with $50,706.97 in debt. And our minimum payment is $1,168.81. For extra debt payments this month, we will be paying an extra $431.04 on our personal loan. We previously were paying $300. If you watch my March budget with me, I did share that I was able to reduce my expenses by $131.04. So I did roll over that amount as a snowball payment to my personal loan. So our snowball payment now is $431.04. And that is going to be paid on April 1st. For personal loan, I am going to be able to make an extra $99 payment. That $99 payment is from the money that I was able to save from my March Madness Challenge. If you did not watch that um, video, you should go ahead and watch my cash stuffing slash um, how much money I was able to save in the March Madness Challenge. And then for personal loan, I'm also going to be able to make a $41.50 payment on April 1st. This $41.50 is from my Apple loan. Since my Apple card is close to being um, paid down, it says the minimum is $186.49. Last month, my minimum was only $144, I believe. So I just took the difference and put that towards my personal loan. I'm not sure if that's gonna be the same this month. So I did keep my minimum payment as at $186.49. If that does change, we'll go ahead and take the difference and make an extra debt payment with that. So our overall um, debt progress, um, we, this is so exciting. I started in January with $57,870.36 um, in debt. This month's total debt balance is $50,706.97. My overall debt progress this year, I have been able to pay down $7,163.39. That is so amazing. I'm just so proud of myself. Um, that number is just really, really amazing. So my overall debt progress so far is 12.3%. And that is really exciting. You know what? Oops, sorry. I was out of frame, so here we are. That's the total um, debt we started with. This is our total month total debt balance. This is our overall debt progress, and this is our overall debt progress. And I just wanna say that I think that it is so important to use trackers. It's really nice to have a visual to see how you're doing. Sometimes you can get a little discouraged, but when you look at your results, it's just so rewarding. So look at my current progress right now of my overall debt progress at 12.3% is amazing. Looking at where I was the month prior was 6.9%. And then I can even go back further than that. And then the one before that was 5.4%. And then it was 3.6%. And then in February is 1.6%. So guys, to just see that we have gone from 1.6% progress to 12% progress, that is amazing. Um, and I'm just so happy with my progress. If you watched my last video, I said I made a big goal my goal is to pay off this personal loan by the end of this year. And I think that it is totally doable. Um, right now on the personal loan, we have $8,561.13. And the goal is to pay that off by the end of this year. And we are going to do it. We are going to pay off this loan and then we can start working towards tackling my car loan. Well, that concludes today's video and my April debt payment plan. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button to join me on my financial journey. In the comment section below, please let me know how you are doing with your debt payment plan. If 
you are tackling debt like myself and if you are not tackling debt and you are debt free please um, leave in the comment section things that you are doing to stay debt free i would love to hear those things well thanks for joining me today you guys have an amazing day and i look forward to seeing you guys in my next video bye